Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a demonstration of using PID's numbers. And I want to show you this flight simulator. It's called Velocidron. Velocidron is a very good flight simulator. It has all the latest racer carbon fiber frame quad. So it also provides the uh, PID's numbers and it's also a better flight. So this is a very good flight simulator and it's also a very good PID simulator. So you can actually use this velocity drone to set your PID's numbers and to simulate this in this simulator so that you know how the numbers will work for your particular quad. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate to you the different sets of numbers that I got for the Chasers 88 that is the Yixin Chaser 88 numbers and um, although the quad is a different size uh, but they are both pure X of course Chaser 88 is a smaller size than the Mako 5 inch frame but this is just a demonstration of using different numbers so in the first part of the video you're going to see uh, me using the stock PID for uh, the Yixin Chasers 88 and I'm going to show you a slight uh, small demo of the flight using FPV uh, you cannot tune your quad using line of sight. You can only tune your quad using FPV. So every video that I'm going to show you will be uh, showing you the PID numbers and a demo flight using FPV and show you how the numbers work for the particular quad. So you're going to have four parts of the video. One is the stock PID. The second part is a different set of numbers. Third part is a different set of numbers. And the last part is the uh, set of PID numbers for the Mako Shandron uh, quad itself. So while I'm playing the video, I'm going to talk you through each one of the demo so that you will understand. Um, in this first part of the video, you're going to see the stock PIDs and um, you can see the P, the I, the D's, and the rates is 0 0.7 and RCX power is 0 0.1. So I'm going to save that numbers and you can see now uh, I'm going to demonstrate to you how the numbers perform. Uh, it seems that the um, it flies quite well with the uh, stock PID for the Yixin Chaser 88 and there's no oscillation or anything by me doing uh, flips and rolls and um, but for the Chaser 88 itself I've, I've seen uh, a few videos saying that uh, the stock numbers don't work for the uh, Chaser 88 and I think it's because of the uh, build of the quad with that particular uh, antenna protector and also of the small frame and there could be a lot of vib vibration and also the propellers so as you can see as you can see also in my part 3 part 2 videos of this understanding PIDs and tuning uh, that PIDs numbers are really not to tune the pet design quad and now you are looking at the second set of numbers uh, by another uh, youtubers so as you can see the D numbers are being increased as you know from part 2 and part 3 videos and also part 1 the D numbers are really there to uh, dampen the uh, the movement, movement of the quad and in this part of the video the super rate is also changed to 0.8 and 
also when you see these numbers, they also don't really uh, cause any oscillation and they work pretty well for the quad and as like I said earlier, the PID numbers are not really there to tune a very bad design quad. Um, the PID's numbers will work for any of the quad provided that they are between the uh, minimum and the maximum, maximum numbers and as long as you don't overdo the numbers and they should be fine even in this part of the video I was trying to do uh, a bit more maneuvering and trying to make aggressive uh, turns and rolls and flips and the numbers work uh, pretty well so in this, this third set of numbers and this is from another YouTuber he changed the, num the piece to 100 and this is very unusual he said that these sets of numbers compensate for the vibrations and what have you and um, he changed the integral to 20 and again um, the tuning was done I don't know whether it was done with uh, FPV or just line of sight but um, if when we see the numbers here uh, the P's are clearly very high which I haven't seen before and you now you can see uh, this demo flight you're going to see a lot of oscillations when I do a lot of uh, <coughs> aggressive maneuvers and even when I throttle up you will see a lot of uh, oscillations look at the horizon and um, I'm trying to do flip and roll first you can't really see the oscillation until I really crank up the uh, throttle so you see the horizon horizon then you can see all the vibration you can't really see it now now I look at the vibration so clearly this, this set of numbers don't work and they have been overdone and um, I don't think 100 is the right number to go for any P and this is a X shaped chord and X shaped chord is supposed to be <coughs> very stable instead this set of numbers produce a lot of oscillation and you can't really fly uh, very well with this particular shape quad and this quad is you will see in a later part of this video is pretty well built and a very basic uh, configuration with just the battery cameras and as you can see they are just no good so guys this Velocity drone is really really good for uh, flight simulator and also as a PID simulator so that you don't really have to use your real quad to get to know how the numbers work for you uh, first of all you need to make sure that your quad are well set up and everything is secured down properly <coughs> and uh, is well balanced if they are well balanced all the numbers that you're going to use uh, between the minimum and the maximum numbers are going to be just fine and you're going to be trying to find the right numbers for you when you're doing flips and rolls to see how they recover the P's and the I's and the D's so there's really no magic numbers uh, in uh, tuning and the tuning is really for flight characteristic and for this last part of videos I'm resetting the numbers back to the uh, Shandron Maker original uh, PIDs and they are really really smooth uh, there's no, no oscillation so when 
I do flips and rolls and aggressive maneuvers. Uh, they are just fine. So um, hopefully, guys, you up to this part four, you will understand what PID is really is about. Um, so now I'm going to show you the quad itself, and this is the Mako Shenron quad. So hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. So until next time, cheers.